Isn't it strange how our world is home to 8 billion people? And yet, we're lonelier than ever. We've got technology linking us together, and yet, we are adrift. Hungry for that true connection, that genuine bond. You look lonely. I left America, probably the loneliest place on earth, to seek out a new life with more inclusion elsewhere. Alone in a crowded room. Sounds like an oxymoron, right? But that's the reality for millions of Americans. Now let's take a look what the Surgeon General has to say about that. This is a problem that has been building for decades in our country. And as the world has moved faster and faster, as things have changed from in-person to online, they have a profound effect both on our mental health and our physical health. You would never know. So hidden between the buildings here. I like it. When you first got here, like what was your your strongest impression? The first thing is just the atmosphere, the ambiance is like different. Like now, okay, I'm in Spain. Today I was exploring the whole topic of loneliness in the US and how this is becoming almost at pandemic level. People are extremely isolated and it's a systematic thing that it's coming very heavy on the health. What was your experience on only speaking, let's say, on a connectivity level? So, uh, Boston was very lonely. The weather has an impact, so I didn't really get that feeling of connectedness mm -hmm. until I moved to Los Angeles. Okay. Because in LA, everybody wants to be a star. Yeah. And you gotta be social. Is there any pressure of meeting people? Did you ever feel like this is like a, a fabricated feeling? Because I always felt a little flat, like always a little forced to, to be yeah. something. There was lots of pressure. Um, but I, I learned, I'm an international guy. Yeah. I love, love, love this part of the world. I love all the parts I haven't even been able to explore yet. We're always looking outside, aren't we? Seeking new connections, new friends, even a spark of a new romance. Hi. I'm sorry? I just said hi. We're in these vast, busy cities, filled with millions of stories, but beneath that neon glow and the energetic bustle, there is an underlying sense of solitude. Another day, another party in the center. Summer concerts and events everywhere in the city. You don't even need to plan. You just need to walk outside your home. Everyone needs their time alone to just be with yourself and experience things on your own. But it's very different from being lonely, and especially different from being chronically lonely. Being lonely all the time, or most of the time. This is an epidemic happening in the United States. I have experienced that when I lived in the US. My perspective, of course, is very different because I was born in Bulgaria. I spent 20 years of my life living there. And even though I live for the most part during communist times, I'm not um, saying this is great, but I do have some great memories from that period. I've never experienced being alone there. It is very much based on economics and how the country is structured, the money that it has. Of course, having a lot of money, you start competing and you want more. Having less money, you're more communal, you're more integrated, you're relying on other people, you are in a more shared economy. You know what? I thought also about the concept of having a credit card also disconnects you from people. It makes you rely only on banks and not on people around you that can help you. Back in the day when I was young, in Bulgaria, we didn't have credit cards, of course. When you have to borrow money, you have to rely on your friends, on people, and the trust was pretty high. Yeah, I think that's another thing we can um, think about in terms of communities and how people initially meet and also how they maintain their relationships. Yeah. What's different from if you compare it to, to the States? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Valencia has been a great place for me to uh, get bruised, yeah. fall down, hurt myself. 
uh, go broke, rebuild myself. Yeah. But if you're a single person and you make even just a thousand euros a month in a place like Valencia, you could at least survive. Okay, maybe you need less to survive and less to navigate. But do you think also it's because you have somewhat of a higher humane support, like higher, maybe more people to talk to, to ask for help? In this city, I'm, I'm surrounded by lots of amazing people. There's lots of social connection that doesn't exist back home. But I feel there's also a lot of like freedom and free will being exercised. The balance, it adds years to your life. When I was younger, you know, my, my markers were different. Uh, so You just wise up. <laughs> yeah, you just wise up and you just, uh, so the way that I measure my life today is about how much of my time can I buy back. Despite our surroundings, we often feel alone. It doesn't matter how old we are or where we come from. It's that reality of isolation, of being the only one awake when the city sleeps. It's real, more real than we often care to admit. We're all seeking connection, but forget it begins with ourselves. As long as we're honest with each other, and admit that from time to time we experience loneliness. It's all good, as long as we don't stay in denial and let this thing become chronic. Standing in the middle of a crowded room, screaming at the top of my lungs and no one even looks up. Do you know that one in every three Americans is experiencing loneliness on a daily basis? Take a look at this. If you think about the circumstances where we evolved, right? If you got separated from the tribe, if you were alone, right. you were depressed and anxious for a really good reason. You were about to be eaten, yes. right? You were in terrible danger. If you got injured, no one would help you, you would die, right. right? Being acutely lonely is as stressful as being punched in the face by a stranger when it comes to cortisol release, right? It's a signal telling you to get back to the tribe. That's why we evolved. It's a really important right. signal. If humans hadn't had that signal, we wouldn't be here, right? Humans, humans have a need, have a need for, for a sense of belonging. nature, in our evolutionary nature, to be part of a group, part of a tribe. There is a strange thing happening. In America, everyone is kind of educated to have this individualistic push to achieve something on their own. I just want to go out and, and, you know, like really, really, really do something. At the same time, our evolutionary nature doesn't allow us to do that because we belong to a tribe. This strange pressure is creating the feeling of loneliness. In the US, everyone is being disciplined and kind of fed by media, by family, by any social standards to succeed, to be an individual, to do it. Like you don't need, like you can do it. You can, everything, everything is like you can. Yes, you can. Okay, I, I, maybe I can. But what if I can't? Like, do I have anybody? Like everything is being fed like that. And at the same time, we, we cannot like exist like, like a, like a uh, lonely wolf. Our relationship with social media can actually create um, severe mental illness because of disassociation. It's we twisting our reality. But loneliness is not only an emotion, it is a state which can be very devastating for your health. Normally with age, as we age, due to an illness, a loss of a loved one, we can become very lonely. But the problem is not just with elderly. They did the research that young people are more likely to get on a dating app. And there is no stigma about that anymore. But they're quite embarrassed to go on an app looking for a friend. And I'm sure these things will change in the future as the artificial intelligence gets a little more integrated in our daily life. Some things that we see in the movies, we let our imagination take us places, we get into different characters, and it is strange that we don't really nourish connections that are around us. We don't make them deeper and important, and we keep imagining what it can be if we're this or that character. With some of the new technological developments, 
there will be less border, so to say, between, between people mostly, I don't mean countries. Do you think this would help people stay more connected? What we're getting ready to experience with AI and then the next frontier of like quantum computing, things that are not 20 oh, years yeah. away, it's like oh. there's a negative and positive. On one side, yeah. they connect, they, they can get to people faster who really align with their values. The negative part about it is it might digitally take away the frontiers, but in a in real life experience, they could be very isolated. In my videos, I'm trying to give as much as information as possible. But if you still have some questions, I'm going to leave a link in the description for my website where you can find a lot about my services, my guide on Valencia, my ultimate guide on Valencia, and a few other things and ways to connect with me. Recently, I heard an interesting story about a Turkish girl. She was born in Turkey. She was 17 years old when she moved to Germany. Before she moved there, before she moved to the Western world, she called home her village, the people living there, and her sense of home was so expanded and so big. And the moment she moved to the Western world, she realized home is just the four walls of her actual physical home. So this only shows how spiritually homeless we are. Why this city, I mean, is, is so important to you? The people here don't realize it, but they are in such an incredible position. Like we're redefining wealth. Mm -hmm. And so you see people uh, who will take 100,000 euros less per year. Yeah. Um, and live in a place like Valencia. Right. Uh, but what they gain, the upside is incredible. Yeah. I also have an example with a person who doesn't have a home. He lives in front of our building pretty much. He, he's alone, definitely alone, but he's not lonely. He told me one day, he said, this is a great neighborhood. People are so nice. And he converses with everyone. He, he parks the cars, he, he knows people, he knows everyone. And he actually gives me a sense of home as well even though I'm not related to him, but he creates that feeling of community, of someone you know that it's outside of your circle. And I think that's pretty nice. I think we're entering into a new age of vulnerability. If you want to be more connected, learn to care how what you do impacts others. I liked what you said earlier, a vulnerability age. I think this is our time to heal. Yeah. Let it out, guys. Cry. Maybe soon, or in the near future, we'll have tools that will help us, through technology possibly, to feel a little less lonely. But as of now, if we share with one another, if we're a little more honest and open, maybe we don't have to stay alone and just drown in this feeling. Maybe we can, we can help each other. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in my next one. Ciao.